the central bank, for its part, supports and assists this trend. In light of the new regulation of the foreign exchange process, the real price at which the central bank sells more than 250 million daily at the official price should be considered. This means that the bank covers foreign trade, and this explains why there is no inflation or price increases. The parallel market is a market for those who do not want to go towards the regular methods of transfer and it is an illegal trade or trade that escapes the regular procedures or other illegal operations such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, corruption money, etc. Whether the dollar price rose or fell is not a correct indicator, as one must look at what and how much the central bank sells at the official price to liquidate various needs. That the primary objective of the central bank is to maintain the general level of prices and limit inflation, and this is supposed to be the measure of the success of monetary policy, which has succeeded in controlling this aspect and the level of inflation compared to other countries and even in previous years is much lower, and within the target, and this means that foreign trade, on which Iraq depends primarily to meet the needs of citizens, is covered by the official price. There is great praise in all meetings with international organizations, including the International Monetary Fund, the Federal Reserve, and the U.S. Treasury, for the transformations, management and organization of the external transfer process in the Central Bank of Iraq at the present time. And that the Central Bank's plan until the end of the year will reach 100%, with foreign transfers between Iraqi banks and correspondent banks, without going through the U.S. Federal Reserve. The plan to reform and lift restrictions on banks includes two axes, the first relates to conducting an audit of previous operations that were suspected by an independent external audit office, some of which have been completed while we await the completion of the audit of others in order to determine the overall picture and classify the nature of these problems and how procedures will be carried out regarding them later. And to reach a real, stable banking sector that is consistent with what is required at the level of the national economy, and to prevent some banks from remaining marginal and not representing a real addition to the Iraqi economy and to gain external acceptance through agreement on their implementation of international policies, procedures, and standards. The central bank has not set a quota for foreign transfers for banks, and they can submit whatever foreign transfer transactions they can attract. The central bank does not interfere in customers' choices, and the banks that carry out this process rely on their capabilities to attract their customers.